Raven coming at you. In this video, I want to show you how to do your mastery for the Seeker of the Light set for your Crusader. Now, this is a pretty neat set. I do like this on the Crusader. I do like the the Thorns build though a lot better. But I want to do the mastery for this set for season 21. And there's a couple tricks to this. I'll have to show you. This is actually pretty neat trick that I found out about this set dungeon. I'll have to show you in a few minutes. But let's take a look at this set. What I got on the gear. Today? Please look let's go to the cube. I got the Ring of Royal Grandeur. Because I'm wearing uh, Captain Chrism for cooldown. Actually I've uh, used this in a couple different set dungeons for cooldown. Which works really well. And I got Hammer Jammers. En enemies take 400% increased damage from your blessed hammers for 10 seconds after you hit them with a blind, immobilizing, or stun. And this one here is real important. Cam's Rebuttal. Falling Sword can be used again within 4 seconds before the cooldown is triggered. Now that this one is really important. You definitely got to have this in the queue. And for my helm, I got a diamond for cooldown. I got crit on my helm. Actually, the set's not that good. I just set it up for the set dungeon. On my shoulder, I got cooldown. On my gloves, I got cooldown. I got diamonds in my uh, armor for resistance. Diamonds in my pants for resistance. I got travelers on. Compass rows, because while you're moving, damage taken is reduced by up to 50%. And while standing still, damage dealt is increased up to 100%. This is really handy in this dungeon. And for the other ring, gain damage reduction equal to 51% of your block chance. And for the gem, I got thorns, of course, chip for the gem there. Ban of the trap. I don't have a gem here because I don't have a socket in the ring. The same rings I actually use on the other set dungeon. And then for my shield, I got the guard. Blessed hammer damage is increased by 242% for the first three seconds it hits. And I got a gem in that for strength. And for the weapon. I got doubles the duration of steed charge. And I have cooldown on that. And also I have cooldown on shield. I try to put cooldown pretty much on all the gear again. It really helps in the dungeon. Let me show you the skills. I got for I got slash, guard, gain increased armor for each enemy hit. This one here, I got the champion embodiment of power increases the bonus wrap regeneration this is really handy then I got laws of valor unstoppable force empowering the laws also reduces the wrap cost of all skills that's pretty handy and then I got steed charge and I'm using uh, nightmare the war, the war horse is engulfed in righteous fire, scorching all who crosses its path. It's kind of handy. This is pretty handy in a dungeon, actually. It helps uh, damage the monsters. And then, of course, I got Falling Sword. Rapid Descent. Reduces the cooldown for each enemy hit by Falling Sword. Then I got Blessed Hammer. Dominion. The hammer now orbits you as you move. This is really handy. And these are the most important skills are uh, Bless Hammer and Falling Sword. 
these are the two most important this is what the dungeon actually uh, is all about right here and I use a uh, steed charge to, to move around when I don't have monsters where I can get there pretty quick which is really handy but uh, let me show you where this dungeon is you got to go to act two I already was in Act 2, but I'll go like a, I was already here. Or go on there. And you got to go to Ancient Waterway. Act 2, Ancient Waterway. You come down here, you go to the Water Log Passage. And you want to go all the way down here. And the uh, dungeon will appear right here. As long as you got all your set on. If you don't have all you set on, make sure you re use the Ring of Royal Grandeur to reduce the number of items. That way you can open your dungeon, which I do have in my queue. Else I wouldn't be able to open the dungeon. Let's take a look at this. Dungeon of the Seeker of Light. Primary objectives. Cast Falling Sword three times in 15 seconds. So you got to do this three times within a 15 second period the first 15 seconds you, you get one and then you got to do it again you got to do it three times do not get hit by a single mortar and now I want to complete both of these to get my mastery because the mastery complete both objectives and kill all monsters within a time limit now there's a trick to this first one let's go in here and uh, see if we can get our mastery I'll show you the trick to this first one which is actually pretty neat. Okay, we're in here. And what you want to do is start pushing Fallen Star. One, two, and then wait for it to cool. That's why I got all the cooldown. Wait till it to go right back up. And watch this. Then do it again. See my one? I got one. And we'll do it again. Wait till it goes back up. That's why I want all that cooldown. Let's do it again. I can't be able to hit it too again because of the weapon I got in the sword. Let it go all the way back up again. I'll hit it one more time and I'll get my last, uh, my first objective done. One more time as soon as it comes up. And then I'll be able to have that done. There it is. That is all right. Then start doing your hammers. Patience. And you want to start walking through these monsters. That's why I got steed on my horse. I Just keep them the hammers up. Start killing all these monsters. Wrath is low. Just use your skills. By the light be damned. Not red, not yes. enough wrath. As long as you walk through here fast enough, he, he, he's not going to get you. That's where this horse comes in handy. Right all the way back. Not yet. And I got a lot of cooldown, so they can take me long. Start them hammers back up. I require more wrath. Get all these. Start using all your skills. Like shot before the wind. I just, just slash everything. Not ready yet. You'll be able to get through here. Go back over here. Finish off these monsters over here. This horse comes in handy. Let's get everything up. Start using them all. Burn in the light. Wipe them out. 
Keep yeah. moving forward. He won't be able to get Not ready yet. Patience. Burn in the light. What do we got? We got 37 monsters. Not ready yet. Just keep everything up. As Thor's comes in handy. Gotta be over here. Not yet. There it is. Get mastery. And the first objective, you just stand there and push uh fall in sword and continue to push that. Get enough cooldown on your character. Well, this, this will go really quick, and you'll get that first objective done. And just start using these two skills as you're walking through the the set dungeon, and uh, start slashing them. And these two here give you more wrath. Keep these up as much as possible, and you'll get through this dungeon really quick. It's not a bad dungeon at all. Let's uh, take a uh, look at uh, this map. It's actually a pretty big map. It's a big area, but that horse comes in handy. When you wipe out a whole bunch of monsters here, you just jump on that horse. You can make quick work of this. Cause it's kind of really straight. You just got a area here that's kind of long, but the rest of it's just really straight. You got a pocket here. Just wipe the whole thing out. It's not that difficult. That It's a pretty neat trick to get the first uh, objective done. I definitely wanted to bring that to you. Let's go back in town here. I need to go back. And I'll show you exactly. Uh, for the cube, you definitely got to have that. This right here. Cam's re Rebutal. Falling sword can be used again within four seconds before the cooldown is triggered. This is very important because once you hit the falling sword, you can actually do this twice. And then you can hit it again. And I got enough cooldown. I'm waiting for that cooldown to go all the way around so it don't take long. So I can get that first objective done without even killing the monster. Do it again. And then I can hit it again. And then I got to wait one more time. It'll go around, and I hit it again. And that gives me uh, plenty of time to do it again. And then I, I hit it again. Now wait, and then you will have that first objective done within seconds. And then you can uh, ride through there, start using these two skills. Keep these two skills up as much as possible. And just start going through killing the Use these two here. Your wrath gets low, hit it. And use this, the champion, that'll keep your uh, your wrath up. Where you don't lose uh, too much wrath. That's why I got these two on. And then if you uh, run out of monsters, jump on your horse. Jump on your steed. Ride around. I, I can keep him up because of my cooldown. I can ride him all Not over ready the place. Yet. It don't take long. As soon as I go out, I'll come right back in. Jump right back on. Now you can use uh, fire if you want. Or you can use endurance. Increase the duration to three seconds. I use nightmare because that helps uh, damage the enemies. I did try uh, try this one. The war horse is covered in armor. Damage damaging enemies in your path I found nightmare works better but that's up to you you can play with it 
but I definitely wanted to bring the Mastery Set Dungeon to you for Season 21. I hope this was helpful. If this was helpful, give me a thumbs up. This is Raven. This is Raven out.